hole in the wall. Okay. Climb down. It is you. By God and the devil. <laughs> I sent you back to punish me. I told them we must repent for what we did to you. To all of them. For my sins. Cast me into the lake of fire. What? <laughs> Who? What? Why? Uh. <laughs> uh, yes. My dear brother. My dear brother, only two days have passed since you left our priory. Much has happened in these two days. Many desperate men, women, and children have found refuge here. Yes, I think the letter. He is somewhat responsible, at least. These people were driven from the castle of the Earl of Shiring. Never had I expected a visit from you to cause such grim consequences. I told you that I want to help to stop the war. I fear we have only now, started it. I find that I have started a war myself. Is this your diplomacy? Are these your politics? He did. He was the one who found the baby, so let's tell him about it, though. Milius and Cuthbert have taken it upon themselves to feed the baby. They called it Jonathan, the gift of God. Johnny Eightpence was right. He loves goat milk. A gift of God. And yet someone gave up on him. I will not give up on him. Or on anyone else. Not on us either, brother. Even if the hope for my own redemption is as small and frail as Jonathan is. Hope of redemption is in Jesus. This letter finds you in good health. In consideration of my own, I ask that you not talk about our parents again. Oh, wow. One must let these things rest. I have made my peace and won't hear any more of it. I heard from you that only three in Earl Robert's employ can read. One of them is my brother. And I hope he forgives my harsh words. Your brother, Philip. And are we seeing the cathedral on fire? What now? No, no, no! Get out of there! What? What is that? My God! Save yourselves! The saint! We must save the saint! Fire! The whole roof is in flames! My god! Don't go in there. I wonder if you used the water. That would have stopped the fire. No, because the fire was in the opening scene, wasn't it? So it must be a thing that's meant to happen. Ooh, heck. While the monks and refugees cleaned up, I kept hidden. I hadn't expected that a magnificent building like this could so utterly collapse. That the ignorant little boy that I had been could so easily turn it back into a pile of dirty stones. I knew then that I had done something wrong. And no one could ever find out.
Prior Philip, I uh, had the site cleared. It should be safe now. Good work. Thank you, Master Builder. This concludes a very long night, then. Uh, many people left already. They asked me to thank you for your kindness. They're sorry for what happened. Well, they should thank God for his mercy. No one got hurt, no one died. Forty-five monks and eleven novices, all accounted for. No one's missing. So who was in no the one? fire? Milius and Cuthbert even saved our saint from the crypt. Do you know what caused this? Uh, um, I don't know. No, so we'll leave it as no, because we do, as a silence, because we don't know. Well, no one got hurt. The books were saved. Even the bones of your saint were unharmed. Maybe this happened for a reason. What do you mean? Here. Let me show you something. So, the reason I left that one vague is... Uh, silence, is because it's like... How does he know the roof was set on fire? It was set, because that makes it sound... It's a deliberate... I think that's a... And looking at the other options, that's a deliberate human action, in contrast to God's punishment or the work of the devil. But how do you discern that just straight away? Was it the devil's work trying to prevent us from taking in refugees? Was it God's punishment for not doing more? You know? All kinds of different things you can take. Tell me, what do you see? A ring of metal. Dawn. I see dawn. Right. The hope. Prior, I am deeply sorry about what happened to your church, but you must remain steadfast. And stare at the sunrise? <laughs> no. No, you're only seeing the sunrise because you're facing east, straight east, like a church. Now, I know you have no money, and that helping people is more important, but we could start right here. Take the stones we've got, and the people who want to help. So, what is it I am looking at, Tom Builder? It's the aisle of your new cathedral. I see it. I see you now. Favoriting the you considered Francis and Philip responsible for the attack. You agreed to bury Arnaldus. Didn't mean to burn the cathedral. You inspired Philip to rebuild Kingsbridge Cathedral. I didn't. I wasn't playing as Tom Builder. <laughs> I was playing as Philip. What did? I mean, no one did anything for that last week. Oh, no. I see. I see. It's talking about me as a player because I saw Dawn. I didn't see de debris. I didn't see the, the fallen cathedral. I'm guessing. I'm trying to understand what's going on. Winchester. A few weeks later, I received an invitation from Bishop Waleran. In Winchester, we and Waleran's allies were to meet King Stephen himself. The bishop seemed assured that because we had helped the king, Stephen would support us in return. <laughs> and that with his help, we would be able to rebuild Kingsbridge Cathedral. But it wouldn't be... Uh, why is it... <laughs> Cathedral is a seat of a bishop. Bishop Waleran. Good morning. Ali, it's them, over there, the Hamleys. Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. But we have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, Mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, children, pardon me.
Now we're only missing one more. Here he is. Good morning. Bishop Henry, this is my prior. Philip of Gwyneth, prior of Kingsbridge, my Lord Bishop. You won't have to say much today, Philip. Leave the talking to us. Well, no, leave the talking to me. King Stephen is my brother, after all. Let us make haste. My brother is an early riser. Who's what? <laughs> Oileran, he's not in purple. Does that mean he's not a bishop? I'm confused. Maybe that's a more modern thing, but... We must make haste. I want to go hunting in the new forest. England is full of game. No comparison to Normandy. This country is still wild. This is Waylon Bygod, the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Is he a suffragan then? Rather than diocesan? Waylon, I remember you. We've met before. And Percy Hamley, my king. He brought Bartholomew to justice. And it's not the first time he's helped me. He has Norman blood in him. We should hunt together someday. Indeed, sire. Bartholomew, on the other hand, will not leave the jail alive. Uh, Percy Hamley did not do it without help, my lord. It was I who told him of the plot against you. And now you come to be rewarded as well. I see. My brother, the Cathedral of Kingsbridge has burnt down. Waleron asks for a reward, not for himself. He asks for our church. I take it your church cannot afford to rebuild that cathedral, Henry. Neither can the crown. We've got to spend it on hunting. I, or rather Bishop Waleron, had an idea. You could give the Earl of Shiring's lands to the Bishop of Kingsbridge to finance the rebuilding of the cathedral. I like the idea. But Percy and his men were the ones who took Owl's castle, not Bishop Waleron. Right, Percy? Uh, yes, my king. He knows the area. And he will be a loyal Earl, will you not? Of course, my king. You ought to give thanks to God first. God made you king. Don't go on like that, Henry. Don't do that. You know what happens when you do that. Parliamentarians come for me. It was a long way to this throne. A long way. Yes, my brother. Now I will hunt. My Lord King, I thank you for being willing to reconsider the future of the Shiring Earldom. When shall we hear your decision? Tomorrow. Bring my bow. Tell the men we hunt. I mean, I was thinking that. Like, yes, now we're done here. <laughs> You're not done. You've not said anything. Philip, Waylon and I have much to discuss. All right. But what can I do to help? Well, my brother asked me to get a confession from the traitor Bartholomew. A confession would be helpful against those who believe Bartholomew's arrest was unjust. And it may help us to convince my brother to forget all about his promise to Percy Hamley. Okay. Where's the keep? Oh, I can't go off anywhere else. We can only go to the group, to the no bother. We can, we can bother the nobles, which I don't think is wise. Uh, into the tomorrow, keep. the king will announce his decision. Until then, they won't allow a simple monk like me into the keep. Okay, but we want to go there because that's where the dungeon is, surely. But okay. Ooh. Bishop Whaler and Bishop Henry. So, right. Diocese and Bishop are the bishops that have say over a particular diocese. That's the split of the province. Which is the church. 
kind of. And then within that, you may have assistant bishops that are called suffragan bishops. At least that's the modern system. I don't know if that's still going to be the same at this point. From what I heard, this is about the cathedral in Kingsbridge. It burned down. Yes. Then the king should help in some manner, but not by giving away English land to the church. Did you not say Bishop Henry was the richest man in England? Then why is he not paying for the cathedral? God has very tight purse strings, it seems. <laughs> Bishop Henry isn't God. Which always reminds me of one of my favorite lines from the Minister. Will have the Oldham of Shiring. But would he make a good Earl? Who cares? Stephen wanted the throne for 20 years. Now that he has it, he must be loyal to those who are loyal to him. Who knows? Maybe Percy will make a good Earl. From what I've heard, Lady Hamley pulls the string. Group of knights. Can bother them. Bartholomew and his followers would have only been the first wave. Robert of Gloucester remains, and he will attack. And that's what you keep telling us. Maybe because the king likes to hear that you share his worries about Robert of Gloucester. Robert of Gloucester wants to see his sister on the throne. He will attack. And the Welsh will fight on his side. You mark my words. Oh, the far side of the yard. Okay. I assume we're not going to go out the gate. Doesn't have an arrow. How could you let her get away? That little bitch. I will find her mother. She was here? Why? To see her father, of course. But that won't help her. She has already made a fool of you once. Don't let it happen again. Well, twice no now, actually. Mother. <laughs> oh. The jailer. Okay. You come to visit someone in my jail, father, or do you want to pick out a nice warm cell for yourself? How dare you? Oh, I'm just pulling your leg. See? A smile. Just for you, father. Can you let me... Okay, right. So he's just not letting me in. Can I use... Bible? The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Okay, so y you don't like the king, okay? I'm guessing. No, I won't just leave. I must do something to help our priory. Right, so I, I need to... Oh. Do I use this? This this on him. I'm going to go and try and get a confession. Bishop Henry sends me. The bishop, eh? What does he want? He wants me to talk to Bartholomew of Shiring. Bartholomew of Shiring? Ha! Ah. It's only Bartholomew now. It's his fourth day without bread. Soon he won't even be Bartholomew anymore. Hmm. Bartholomew. I am Brother Philip. I am responsible for your fate. No, that sounds like it could be boasting. Could you forgive those that wronged you? Only God forgives. A monk should know that. Um. No, only God can forgive the sins against him and completely absolve people of sin. Yeah, why did you go again? No, it was your conspiracy. Your conspiracy was it worth dying for? Your conspiracy. Was it really worth dying for? Stephen sent you. Why would you side with the usurper? 